This page is a glossary of architecture. Topic A. Abacus. A flat slab forming the uppermost member or division of the capital of a column. Accolade. A sculptural embellishment of an arch. Aisle. Subsidiary space alongside the body of a building, separated from it by columns, piers, or posts. Anti-choir The space enclosed in a church between the outer gate or railing of the rood screen and the door of the screen. Apron 1. Raised panel below a window or wall monument or tablet. 2. Open portion of a marine terminal immediately adjacent to a vessel berth, used in the direct transfer of cargo between the vessel and the terminal. 3. Concrete slab immediately outside a vehicular door or passageway used to limit the wear on asphalt paving due to repetitive turning movements or heavy loads. Apps Vaulted semicircular or polygonal end of a chancel or chapel. That portion of a church, usually Christian, beyond the crossing and opposite the nave. In some churches, the choir is seated in this space. A style. An architectural term applied to a colonnade, in which the intercolumniation is alternately wide and narrow. Arcade Passage or walkway covered over by a succession of arches or vaults supported by columns. Blind arcade or arcading, the same applied to the wall surface. Arch A curved structure capable of spanning a space while supporting significant weight. Architrave Formalized lintel, the lowest member of the classical entablature. Also the molded frame of a door or window often borrowing the profile of a classical architrave. Area steps The steps between street level and a basement. Arras Sharp edge where two surfaces meet at an angle such as the corner of a square column or shaft. Arrow slit A thin vertical aperture in a fortification through which an archer can launch arrows. Articulation Articulation is the manner or method of jointing parts such that each part is clear and distinct in relation to the others, even though joined. Ashler Masonry of large blocks cut with even faces and square edges. Atlas A support sculpted in the form of a man, which may take the place of a column, a pier or a pilaster. Atrium Plural, atria. In a court of a Roman or C-20 house, in a multi-story building, a toplet covered court rising through all stories. Attic Small top story within a roof above the uppermost ceiling. The story above the main entablature of a classical facade. B Bahut a small parapet or attic wall bearing the weight of the roof of a cathedral or church. Balconet A false balcony, or railing at the outer plane of a window. Ball flower An architectural ornament in the form of a ball inserted in the cup of a flower, which came into use in the latter part of the 13th and was in great vogue in the early part of the 14th century. Baluster 
a small molded shaft, square or circular, in stone or wood, sometimes metal, supporting the coping of a parapet or the handrail of a staircase, a series of balusters supporting a handrail or coping. Bar stayed girder A structural member of inadequate capacity for its load or span that is augmented by one or two steel bars anchored to each bearing end at or above the centroid of the girder to assume the tension forces. The bars runs down and below the girder and stand off the girder on one or more struts anchored to the girder at its bottom surface. The struts are sized to accept the compressive forces imposed without bending. The load limit to this member is the crippling capacity horizontal failure of the girder. Barge board A board fastened to the projecting gables of a roof. Barrel vault an architectural element formed by the extrusion of a single curve or pair of curves, in the case of a pointed barrel vault along a given distance. Bartizan An overhanging, wall-mounted turret projecting from the walls, usually at the corners, of medieval fortifications or churches. Basement Lowest, subordinate story of building often either entirely or partially below ground level, the lowest part of classical elevation, below the piano nobile. Basilica Originally a Roman, large roofed hall erected for transacting business and disposing of legal matters, later the term came to describe an aisled building with a clerestory. Medieval cathedral plans were a development of the basilica plan type. Batement lights architecture. The lights in the upper part of a perpendicular window, abated, or only half the width of those below. Batter walls. Upwardly receding slope of a wall or column. Battlement a parapet i.e., a defensive low wall between chest height and head height, in which rectangular gaps or indentations occur at intervals to allow for the discharge of arrows or other missiles. Bays Internal compartments of a building, each divided from the other by subtle means such as the boundaries implied by divisions marked in the side walls columns, pilasters, etc. or the ceiling beams, etc. Also external divisions of a building by fenestration windows. Bay window Window of one or more stories projecting from the face of a building canted, with a straight front and angled sides. Bow window, curved, oriel, rests on corbels or brackets and starts above ground level, also the bay window at the dais end of a medieval great hall. Belfry Chamber or stage in a tower where bells are hung. The term is also used to describe the manner in which bricks are laid in a wall so that they interlock. Bench table Stone seat which runs round the walls of large churches, and sometimes round the piers, it very generally is placed in the porches. Bond Brickwork with overlapping bricks. Types of bond include stretcher, English, header, Flemish, garden wall, herringbone, basket, American, and Chinese. Boss 1. Roughly cut stone set in place for later carving. 2. An ornamental projection, a carved keystone of a ribbed vault at the intersection of the agives. Bossage Uncut stone that is laid in place in a building, projecting outward from the building, to later be carved into decorative mouldings, capitals, arms, etc.
Bossages are also rustic work, consisting of stones which seem to advance beyond the surface of the building, by reason of indentures, or channels left in the joinings, used chiefly in the corners of buildings, and called rustic coins. The cavity or indenture may be round, square, chamfered, beveled, diamond-shaped, or enclosed with a cavetto or listel. Bootant Type of support. An arc bootant, or flying buttress, serves to sustain a vault, and is self-sustained by some strong wall or massive work. A pillar bootant is a large chain or jam of stone, made to support a wall, terrace, or vault. The word is French, and comes from the verb bouter, to butt, or a butt. Bracket see also corbel. Weight-bearing member made of wood, stone, or metal that overhangs a wall. Bressummer Literally breast beam", large, horizontal beam supporting the wall above, especially in a jettied building. Brise soleil Projecting fins or canopies which shade windows from direct sunlight. Bullseye window Small oval window, set horizontally. Bullwick Barricade of beams and soil used in 15th and 16th century fortifications designed to mount artillery. On board ships the term refers to the woodwork running round the ship above the level of the deck. Figuratively it means anything serving as a defense. Dutch loanword, bulwark Buttress Vertical member projecting from a wall to stabilize it or to resist the lateral thrust of an arch, roof, or vault. A flying buttress transmits the thrust to a heavy abutment by means of an arch or half arch. C Cancellus Plural, cancelli barriers which correspond to the modern balustrade or railing, especially the screen dividing the body of a church from the part occupied by the ministers hence chancel. The Romans employed cancelli to partition off portions of the courts of law. Cantilever An unsupported overhang acting as a lever, like a flagpole sticking out of the side of a wall. Capital The topmost member of a column or pilaster. Caryatid A sculpted female figure serving as an architectural support taking the place of a column or a pillar supporting an entablature on her head. Casement window Window hung vertically, hinged one side, so that it swings inward or outward. Colliculus, or collicle Stalks eight in number with two leaves from which rise the helices or spiral scrolls of the Corinthian capital to support the abacus. Cellar The inner chamber of a temple in classical architecture. Chalcedicum in Roman architecture, the vestibule or portico of a public building opening on to the Forum, as in the Basilica of Eumachia at Pompeii, and the Basilica of Constantine at Rome, where it was placed at one end. C. Lacuna. Chancel also presbytery. In church architecture, the space around the altar at the east end of a traditional Christian church building, including the choir and sanctuary. Chandrashala The circular or horseshoe arch that decorates many Indian cave temples and shrines. Chimera Chimera, as an architectural feature, means a fantastic, mythical or grotesque figure used for decorative purposes. Chimney A structure which provides ventilation. 
Kresmographion Chamber between the Proneos and the cellar in Greek temples where oracles were delivered. Cincture Ring, list, or fillet at the top and bottom of a column, which divides the shaft from the capital and base. Sink cento Style which became prevalent in Italy in the century following 1500, now usually called 16th century work. It was the result of the revival of classic architecture known as Renaissance, but the change had commenced already a century earlier, in the works of Ghiberti and Donatello in sculpture, and of Brunelleschi and Alberti in architecture. Sippus Plural, Sippi a low, round or rectangular pedestal set up by the Romans for military purposes such as a milestone or a boundary post. The inscriptions on some sippy in the British Museum show that they were occasionally used as funeral memorials. Circulation Describes the flow of people throughout a building. Clethral Term applied to a covered Greek temple, in contradistinction to hypathral, which designates one that is uncovered, the roof of a clethral temple completely covers it. Clearstory Upper part of the nave of a large church, containing a series of windows. Coffer a coffer, in architecture, is a sunken panel in the shape of a square, rectangle, or octagon that serves as a decorative device, usually in a ceiling or vault. Also called caisson, or lacuna. Colarin or hypotrachelium Also colorino, colorino, or hypotrachelium. The little frieze of the capital of the Tuscan and Doric column placed between the astragal, and the annulets. It was called hypotrachelium by Vitruvius. Column A structural element that transmits, through compression, the weight of the structure above to other structural elements below. Compluvium Latin term for the open space left in the roof of the atrium of a Roman house domus for lighting it and the rooms round. Coping The capping or covering of a wall. Corbel A structural piece of stone, wood or metal jutting from a wall to carry a superincumbent weight. Corinthian order one of the three orders or organizational systems of ancient Greek or classical architecture characterized by columns which stood on the flat pavement of a temple with a base, their vertical shafts fluted with parallel concave grooves topped by a capital decorated with acanthus leaves, that flared from the column to meet an abacus with concave sides at the intersection with the horizontal beam that they carried. Cornice Upper section of an entablature, a projecting shelf along the top of a wall often supported by brackets or corbels. Cresting Ornamentation along the ridge of a roof. Cross springer Block from which the diagonal ribs of a vault spring or start. The top of the springer is known as the skewback. Crypt stone chamber beneath the floor of a church or other building. It typically contains coffins, sarcophagi, or religious relics. Cryptoporticus Concealed or covered passage, generally underground, though lighted and ventilated from the open air. One of the best known examples is the Cryptoporticus under the palaces of the Caesars in Rome. In Hadrian's villa in Rome they formed the principal private intercommunication between the several buildings. Cuneus A wedge-shaped division of the Roman theatre separated by the scalae or stairways. 
This shape also occurred in medieval architecture. Cupola A small, most often dome-like, structure on top of a building. Seato style A circular projecting portico with columns. Topic D Diastyle Term used to designate an intercolumniation of three or four diameters. Dialos Peristyle round the great court of the Palestra, described by Vitruvius, which measured two stadia 1, feet, in length. On the south side this peristyle had two rows of columns, so that in stormy weather the rain might not be driven into the inner part. The word was also used in ancient Greece for a foot race of twice the usual length. Diazima a horizontal aisle in an ancient Greek theatre that separates the lower and upper tiers of semicircular seating and intersects with the vertical aisles. Dika Islamic architectural term for the tribune raised upon columns, from which the Quran is recited and the prayers intoned by the Imam of the mosque. Dipteral Temples which have a double range of columns in the peristyle, as in the Temple of Diana at Ephesus. Distyle in Antes Having two columns An architectural term for a portico having two columns between two anta Dodecastyle Temple where the portico has twelve columns in front, as in the portico added to the Temple of Demeter at Eleusis, designed by Philo, the architect of the arsenal at the Piraeus. Doric order One of the three orders or organizational systems of ancient Greek or classical architecture characterized by columns which stood on the flat pavement of a temple without a base, their vertical shafts fluted with parallel concave grooves topped by a smooth capital that flared from the column to meet a square abacus at the intersection with the horizontal beam that they carried. Dorma a structural element of a building that protrudes from the plane of a sloping roof surface. Dormers are used, either in original construction or as later additions, to create usable space in the roof of a building by adding headroom and usually also by enabling addition of windows. Dossere, or impost block Cubical block of stone above the capitals in a Byzantine church, used to carry the arches and vault, the springing of which had a superficial area greatly in excess of the column which carried them. Double depth plan A plan for a structure that is two rooms deep but lacking a central corridor. Dromos Entrance passage or avenue leading to a building, tomb or passageway. Those leading to beehive tombs are enclosed between stone walls and sometimes infilled between successive uses of the tomb. In ancient Egypt the Dromos was a straight, paved avenue flanked by sphinxes. E. Entablature A superstructure of mouldings and bands which lie horizontally above columns, resting on their capitals. Entesis The application of a convex curve to a surface for aesthetic purposes. Its best known use is in certain orders of classical columns that curve slightly as their diameter is decreased from the bottom upward. It also may serve an engineering function regarding strength. Ephebium Large hall in the ancient Palestra furnished with seats, the length of which should be a third larger than the width. 
It served for the exercises of youths of from 16 to 18 years of age. Epinaus Open vestibule behind the nave. The term is not found in any classic author, but is a modern coinage, originating in Germany, to differentiate the feature from the opus thedomos, which in the Parthenon was an enclosed chamber. Estrade French term for a raised platform or dais. In the Levant, the estrade of a divan is called a sofa, from which comes our word sofa. U style Intercolumniation defined by Vitruvius as being of the best proportion, i.e. two and a quarter diameters. F Facade An exterior side of a building, usually the front. Fanlight Window, semicircular or semi elliptical in shape, with glazing bars or tracery sets radiating out like an open fan. Fascia Horizontal board attached to the lower end of rafters at the eaves. Ferritory Enclosure or chapel within which the ferritor shrine, or tomb, as in Henry VII's chapel, was placed. Flushwork The decorative combination on the same flat plane of flint and ashlar stone. It is characteristic of medieval buildings, most of the survivors' churches, in several areas of southern England, but especially East Anglia. If the stone projects from a flat flint wall, the term is proudwork, as the stone stands proud rather than being flush with the wall. Flying buttress A specific type of buttress usually found on a religious building such as a cathedral. Flying rib an exposed structural beam over the uppermost part of a building which is not otherwise connected to the building at its highest point. A feature of H-frame constructed concrete buildings and some modern skyscrapers. Footprint The area on a plane directly beneath a structure, that has the same perimeter as the structure. Foot stall the lower part of a pier in architecture. A literal translation of pedestal. Formeray French term for the wall rib carrying the web or filling in of a vault. G Gable a triangular portion of an end wall between the edges of a sloping roof. Gablets Triangular terminations to buttresses, much in use in the early English and decorated periods, after which the buttresses generally terminated in pinnacles. The early English gablets are generally plain, and very sharp in pitch. In the decorated period they are often enriched with panelling and crockets. They are sometimes finished with small crosses, but more often with finials. Gadruning Carved or curved moulding used in architecture and interior design as decorative motif, often consisting of flutes which are inverted and curved. Popular during the Italian Renaissance. Galleting, also garreting. The process in which the gallets or small splinters of stone are inserted in the joints of coarse masonry to protect the mortar joints. They are stuck in while the mortar is wet. Gambrel A symmetrical two-sided roof with two slopes on each side. Gargoyle a carved stone grotesque with a spout designed to convey water from a roof. 
Gauged brickwork, also rubbed brickwork. Brickwork constructed of soft bricks rubbed to achieve a fine smooth finish with narrow joints between courses. Gazebo A freestanding pavilion structure often found in parks, gardens and public areas. Geisen Greek, geisen often interchangeable with cornice the part of the entablature that projects outward from the top of the frieze in the Doric order and from the top of the frieze course of the Ionic and Corinthian orders, it forms the outer edge of the roof on the sides of a structure with a sloped roof. Geodesic dome a structure formed of straight wood or metal members between points or nodes on a circular sphere or part thereof that are pinned at each connection point to two or more other members that transfer loads imposed on the structure to the base of the structure. The geometric areas between individual members may support a skin if the structure is to be enclosed. A regular geodesic structure have members of equal length but strengths of members may vary depending on location in the geodesic grid grotto an exterior submerged room that is decorated with landscaping or art in which has no exterior exit or entrance one enters and exits only through the building H Hip roof A type of roof where all sides slope downwards from the ridge to the eaves. Hyphen Possibly from an older term, hefunen, a structural section connecting the main portion of a building with its projecting dependencies or wings. Topic I Imperial roof decoration A row of small figures along the unions of the roofs of Chinese official buildings. Interlaced arches A scheme of decoration employed in Romanesque and Gothic architecture, where arches are thrown from alternate piers, interlacing or intersecting one another. In the former case, the first arch mold is carried alternately over and under the second, in the latter the moldings actually intersect and stop one another. Ionic order One of the three orders or organizational systems of ancient Greek or classical architecture characterized by columns which stood on the flat pavement of a temple with a base, their vertical shafts fluted with parallel concave grooves topped by a capital with volutes, that flared from the column to meet a rectangular abacus with carved overlow molding, at the intersection with the horizontal beam that they carried. J Jagati A raised surface, platform or terrace upon which an Indian temple is placed. Jettying A building technique used in medieval timber frame buildings in which an upper floor projects beyond the dimensions of the floor below. Topic K Keystone The architectural piece at the crown of a vault or arch and marks its apex, locking the other pieces into position. Topic L Lacuna Latin name in architecture for panelled or coffered ceiling, soffit, or vault adorned with a pattern of recessed panels. Latticework 
an ornamental, lattice framework consisting of small strips in a criss-crossed pattern. Light The openings in a window between mullions and muntins through which light enters an interior space. A 6-6 window is a window that has six lights in the upper sash and six in the lower sash. Lightning rod A conductive bars of copper or zinc coated steel mounted on the ridge or a roof or on the parapet of a building connected to a large capacity conductor, usually copper, routed to a ground rods driven into the earth for the purpose of safely directing electrical charges caused by a lightning strike to the ground to avoid damage or fire to the structure. Lintel a horizontal block that spans the space between two supports usually over an opening such as a window or door. Loculus An architectural niche that houses a body, as in a catacomb, hypogeum, mausoleum or other place of entombment. Lodger A gallery formed by a colonnade open on one or more sides. The space is often located on an upper floor of a building overlooking an open court or garden. Lunette A half-moon-shaped space, either masonry or void. M Mandapa in Indian architecture, a pillared outdoor hall or pavilion for public rituals. Maksura, Maksura In Islamic architecture, the sanctuary or praying chamber in a mosque, sometimes enclosed with a screen of lattice work, occasionally, a similar enclosure round a tomb. Mansard roof French roof a curb hip roof in which each face has two slopes, the lower one steeper than the upper, from the French mansard after the accomplished 17th century French architect noted for using not inventing this style, François Mansart, d. 1666. Marriage stone A stone lintel, usually carved, with a marriage date. Mascaron A mascaron ornament is a face, usually human, sometimes frightening or chimeric, used as a decorative element. Meander Decorative border made by a repeated linear motif. Mirab in Islamic architecture, a semicircular niche in the wall of a mosque that indicates the direction of prayer. Minaret In Islamic architecture, a tall spire with a conical or onion-shaped crown, on or near a mosque, that is used by the imam to give the prayer call. Medillion Enriched block or horizontal bracket generally found under the cornice and above the bed mold of the Corinthian entablature. It is probably so called because of its arrangement in regulated distances. Molding Decorative finishing strip Monotriglyph Interval of the intercolumniation of the Doric column, which is observed by the intervention of one triglyph only between the triglyphs which come over the axes of the columns. This is the usual arrangement, but in the Propylia at Athens there are two triglyphs over the central intercolumniation, in order to give increased width to the roadway, up which chariots and beasts of sacrifice ascended. Mullion Vertical bar of wood, metal or stone which separates two or more windows in a series. Muntina vertical or horizontal piece that divides a pane of glass into two or more panes or lights in a window, makanas Type of decorative corbel used in Islamic architecture that in some circumstances, resembles stalactites. Matule 
rectangular block under the soffit of the cornice of the Greek Doric temple, which is studded with gutte. It is supposed to represent the piece of timber through which the wooden pegs were driven in order to hold the rafter in position, and it follows the sloping rake of the roof. In the Roman Doric order the metulle was horizontal, with sometimes a crowning fillet, so that it virtually fulfilled the purpose of the medillion in the Corinthian cornice. N Narthex An enclosed passage between the main entrance and the nave of a church. Nave The main body of a church where the congregants are usually seated. It provides the central approach to the high altar. Newell the central supporting pillar of a spiral staircase. It can also refer to an upright post that supports the handrail of a stair railing and forms the lower, upper or an intermediate terminus of a stair railing usually at a landing. Niche In classical architecture is an exedra or an apse that has been reduced in size, retaining the half-dome heading usual for an apse. Topic O Oculus A circular opening in the center of a dome such as the one in the roof of the Pantheon in Rome or in a wall. Oilets Arrow slits in the walls of medieval fortifications, but more strictly applied to the round hole or circle with which the openings terminate. The same term is applied to the small circles inserted in the tracery head of the windows of the decorated and perpendicular periods, sometimes varied with trefoils and quatrefoils. Onion dome A dome whose shape resembles an onion. Order an order refers to each of a series of mouldings most often found in Romanesque and Gothic arches. Orthostates Greek, orthostas standing upright Greek architecture term for the lowest course of masonry of the external walls of the nows or cellar, consisting of vertical slabs of stone or marble equal in height to two or three of the horizontal courses which constitute the inner part of the wall. Orthostyle Greek, horthos straight, and stylos, a column a range of columns placed in a straight row, as for instance those of the portico or flanks of a classic temple. <laughs> P Parapet a low wall built up above the level of a roof, to hide the roof or to provide protection against falling, and similar structures associated with balconies, bridges etc. Par close screen Screen or railing used to enclose a chantry chapel, tomb or manorial chapel, in a church, and for the space thus enclosed. Pavilion a free-standing structure near the main building or an ending structure on building wings. Pedestal also plinth. The base or support on which a statue, obelisk, or column is mounted. A plinth is a lower terminus of the face trim on a door that is thicker and often wider than the trim which it augments. Pediment GR Ito's lat, fastigium, fr. Ponton, in classic architecture the triangular shaped portion of the wall above the cornice which formed the termination of the roof behind it. The projecting mouldings of the cornice which surround it enclose the tympanum, which is sometimes decorated with sculpture. Pelmet A framework placed above a window. Pendentive 
three-dimensional spandrels supporting the weight of a dome over a square or rectangular base. Peripteral A temple or other structure surrounded on all sides by columns forming a continuous portico at the distance of one or two intercolumniations from the walls of the nows or cellar. Almost all the Greek temples were peripteral, whether Doric, Ionic, or Corinthian. Peristasis The peristasis Greek, peristasis was a four-sided porch or hall of columns surrounding the cellar in an ancient Greek peripteros temple see also peristyle. In ecclesial architecture, it is also used of the area between the baluster of a Catholic church and the high altar what is usually called the sanctuary or chancel. Peristyle A continuous porch of columns surrounding a courtyard or garden see also peristasis. In ecclesial architecture, the term cloister is used. File a building or columned arcade around a fountain. Piano nobile The principal floor of a large house, built in the style of Renaissance architecture. Pier An upright support for a superstructure, such as an arch or bridge. Pilaster a slightly projecting column built into or applied to the face of a wall. Plantsa or plantia Building elements sometimes used in the same sense as a soffit, but more correctly applied to the soffit of the corona in a cornice. Plate girder a steel girder formed from a vertical center web of steel plate with steel angles forming the top and bottom flanges welded, bolted or riveted to the web. Some deep plate girders also may have vertical stiffeners angles attached to the web to resist crippling horizontal failure of the web. Plinth the base or platform upon which a column, pedestal, statue, monument or structure rests. A plinth is a lower terminus of the face trim on a door that is thicker and often wider than the trim which it augments. Poppy heads Finials or other ornaments which terminate the tops of bench ends, either to pews or stalls. They are sometimes small human heads, sometimes richly carved images, knots of foliage or finials, and sometimes fleurs de lis simply cut out of the thickness of the bench end and chamfered. The term is probably derived from the French poupée doll or puppet used also in this sense, or from the flower, from a resemblance in shape. Portcullis Heavy wooden or metallic grid vertically sliding down and thus blocking the main gateway of a medieval castle or fortification. Port coquere A porch or portico-like structure at a main or secondary entrance to a building through which a horse and carriage or motor vehicle can pass in order for the occupants to alight under cover, protected from the weather. Portico a series of columns or arches in front of a building, generally as a covered walkway. Brick post Old architectural name given sometimes to the queen posts of a roof, and sometimes to the filling in quarters in framing. Prostyle Free-standing columns that are widely spaced apart in a row. The term is often used as an adjective when referring to a portico which projects from the main structure. Pseudodipteral Temple similar to a dipteral temple, in which the columns surrounding the nows have had walls built between them, so that they become engaged columns, as in the great temple at Agrigentum. In Roman temples, in order to increase the size of the cilia, the columns on either side and at the rear became engaged columns, the portico only having isolated columns. Terima 
In classical architecture, the enclosed space of a portico, peristyle, or stoa, generally behind a screen of columns. Pycno style Term given by Vitruvius to the intercolumniation between the columns of a temple, when this was equal to one and a half diameters. Topic Q Quadraporticus Also known as a quadraportico, a four-sided portico. The closest modern parallel would be a colonnaded quadrangle. Coin The cornerstones of brick or stone walls. Coins are also common in some brickwork corners that are alternately recessed and expressed. Topic R Rake The diagonal outside facing edge of a gable, sometimes called a raking cornice or a sloping cornice. Rake is equivalent to slope which is the ratio of the rise to the run of the roof. Rear vault Vault of the internal hood of a doorway or window to which a splay has been given on the reveal. Sometimes the vaulting surface is terminated by a small rib known as the scoinson rib, and a further development is given by angle shafts carrying this rib, known as scoinson shafts. Return Receding edge of a flat face on a flat signboard, for example, the return is the edge which makes up the board's depth. Revolving door An entrance door for excluding drafts from an interior of a building. A revolving door typically consists of three or four doors that hang on a center shaft and rotate around a vertical axis within a round enclosure. Rib vault the intersection of two or three barrel vaults. Ridge board A structural member that runs the length of the ridge high point on a sloped roof to which the upper ends of rafters are attached. Roof comb The structure that tops a pyramid in monumental Mesoamerican architecture also common as a decorative embellishment on the ridge of metal roofs of some domestic Gothic-style architecture in America in the 19th century. Rotunda A large and high circular hall or room in a building, usually but not always, surmounted by a dome. Topic S Sash The horizontal and vertical frame that encloses the glazing of a window. A sash may be fixed or operable and may be of several different types depending on operation, i.e., casement, single or double hung, awning, hopper or sliding. Screens passage the passage at one end of the great hall of an English medieval house or castle, and separated from it by the spear. Scroll Ornamental element featuring a sequence of spiraled, circled or heart-shaped motifs. There are, among others, flower scrolls, foliated scrolls, plant scrolls, vine scrolls. Site-specific architecture architecture which is of its time and of its place. It is designed to respond to both its physical context, and the metaphysical context within which it has been conceived and executed. Sommer or summer Girder or main summer beam of a floor, if supported on two-story posts and open below, also called a press or Breast summer, often found at the centerline of the house to support one end of a joist, and to bear the weight of the structure above. Spandrel 
the space between two arches or between an arch and a rectangular enclosure. In a building facade, the space between the top of the window in one story and the sill of the window in the story above. Spear The fixed structure between the Great Hall and the screen's passage in an English medieval timber house. Spire A tapering conical or pyramidal structure on the top of a building. Springer The lowest voussoir on each side of an arch. Squinch a piece of construction used for filling in the upper angles of a square room so as to form a proper base to receive an octagonal or spherical dome. Squint An opening, often arched, through an internal wall of a church providing an oblique view of the altar. Stoop a small staircase ending in a platform and leading to the entrance of an apartment building or other building. Sunburst A design or figure commonly used in architectural ornaments and design patterns, including Art Nouveau. Cistyle in the classical orders, this describes columns rather thickly set, with an intercolumniation to which two diameters are assigned. T Timber framing is the method of creating structures using heavy timbers jointed by pegged mortise and tenon joints. Trebated arch An arch pointed at the top formed by voussoirs whose inside radius is greater than one half the span of the arch. Tracery The stonework elements that support the glass in a Gothic window. Transom architectural Window or element, fixed or operable, above a door but within its vertical frame. Truss A structural component made of straight wood or metal members, usually in a triangular pattern, with «pinned» connections at the top and bottom cords and which is used to support structural loads, as those on a floor, roof or bridge. Turret a small tower that projects vertically from the wall of a building such as a medieval castle. Tympanum Greek tympanon, from tiptane, to strike the triangular space enclosed between the horizontal cornice of the entablature and the sloping cornice of the pediment. Though sometimes left plain, it is often decorated. U Undercroft Traditionally, a cellar or storage room. In modern usage, a ground level area that is relatively open to the sides, but covered by the building above. V Ventilation shaft a small, vertical space within a tall building which permits ventilation of the building. Virendil truss A rectilinear truss usually fabricated of steel or concrete with horizontal top and bottom cords and vertical web members no diagonals in which the loads imposed on it are transferred to the supports through bending forces resisted in its connections. Volute A spiral, scroll-like ornament that forms the basis of the Ionic order. Voussoir A wedge-shaped or tapered stone between the springer and the keystone used to construct an arch. W Wing 1. 
a lateral part or projection of a building or structure such as a wing wall. 2. A subordinate part of a building possibly not connected to the main building. 3. The sides of a stage theater. Topic Z. Ziggurat. A temple tower of the ancient Mesopotamian valley, having the form of a terraced pyramid of successively receding stories. Topic. See also. Outline of architecture. List of classical architecture terms Classical order List of architectural vaults List of structural elements Glossary of engineering Notes <laughs> <laughs>